Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I wanted the CS uh, for Lands, Public Works, Housing and Urban Development to answer the following three questions, Mr. Speaker. Number one, who holds the title deed for the parcel of land on which the Tomboya Social Hall in Makadara constituency, Nairobi City County, stands? And could the Cabinet Secretary indicate the ownership history of the said parcel of land? B, could the Cabinet Secretary explain the circumstances under which the parcel of land came into the custody or possession of a private developer who has already commenced construction works on a mall? Number C, what measures has the Ministry put in place to reclaim public land, including this land in Makadara, that has been illegal, illegally acquired or encroached upon, as well as generally forestalled land grabbing in the city of Nairobi. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Madam CS. Uh, in response to the Honorable Senator for Nairobi County, Senator Sifuna, Honorable Senator Edwin Sifuna, he wants to know what is the fate of Tom Boyer Social Hall. Honorable Speaker, I have given an answer in response, which is written, uh, Tom Boyer Memorial Hall sits on plot number 79 stroke, block number 79 stroke 782, formerly the number I have given there, LR number 209 stroke 11046. The plot was reserved to the Ministry of Public Works, that is my ministry, for development of a community hall on June 26, 1957, through an order of the governor then. The plot was leased to Kanu, Kenya African National Union Party, for three years from 1967, on condition that the party pays rent of hmm, shillings one. The land remains government land, and the party remains, th that's the condition, that the land was to remain uh, still owned by the public works and then the party responsible for maintenance of the building is the Kanu party during that uh, terms of the lease for those three years. Kanu then thereafter applied for allocation of, pl of the plot in 1985. A letter of allotment was issued in favor of the party on 12th April 1985 for a term of 99 years, with effect from March 1985, the user of the plot was Social Hall Steel and Offices, a mixture that we have given an mixture of that detail. And uh, then thereafter, Kanu did not pay the statutory fees in, uh, indicated in the allotment letter of 10th of April 2018. The offer had since lapsed and I have given uh, also supporting an extra there, number three. A lease for Nairobi block 79 stroke 782 measuring 0 0.403 hectares, that is about one acre of land at Peppercorn rent was prepared in favor of Kanu and registered on April 25th or 20, yeah, 25th April 2018, I've given details in support. Honorable Speaker, on 22nd of February 2021, the parcel was then transferred to GAMI. Was uh, transferred to GAMI Limited, GAMI Properties Limited. Give me CR2. Yes, to GAMI Properties uh, Limited, I have also given supporting document to support that. The parcel having been registered as a social hall should remain as such. Honorable Speaker, uh, that is the status of that parcel. It's a public land. Honorable Senator for Nairobi, I want to confirm standing on this floor that GAMI Properties Limited got an irregular allocation and I will proceed to cancel that title. 
it is going to remain public property. Yeah. And maybe that I will uh, leave a copy of the CR12 to show the individuals that own GAMI Properties Limited. My office obviously misbehaved by allowing this. But that was done jointly with the National Land Commission. We will work together using a Section 79 of the Land Legislation Act. Thank you. Um, Honorable CS, I thought you just handled the three parts, uh, A, B, and C, and then the rest of the question can maybe... Uh, he had enforcing strict penalties, digitization. Well, I think you are concerned that you have. Your I last think I had. Part, I, think I, summarized it. I had said yes. I had said that we are working on digitization. We'll need support of Parliament through budget. We have already finished Nairobi. We are doing Moranga and Isioro for digitization or the scanning in Moranga and Isioro is almost done and we'll be going live in those two other counties soon. So this progress will be expected, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, Honorable CS. With the way Senator Spuna is happy, I don't think he has a supplementary question. <laughs> <laughs> he has already confirmed. Okay, Senator Spuna. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I, I was... I was uh, I was a bit worried when I was reading the uh, written response from the CS because it did not have the last bit there, which is the most critical bit for the people of Nairobi, on the action to be taken. I am more than happy to confirm or to hear from her that she's going to cancel the allocation because the offer to Kanu had lapsed, so they had no title to transfer. They did not, in fact, deserve to be given that title, and there was nothing to transfer to Gami properties. I am also happy that she has told the, the nation that she's going to provide the ownership details of GAMI Properties Limited. Madam Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker, the only thing I want the CS to confirm to me is the timeline when we can expect cancellation of that particular title, reversion back to the people of Nairobi of the property, and the reconstruction of Tomboya Social Hall. Mr. Speaker, because as we speak today, construction on that property is still ongoing. They are building a mall. So, Mr. Speaker, the timelines of those actions if the CS, uh, who has already made my day, can just add the topping to the cake, uh, I will be very happy for the people of Nairobi to hear when we can expect this time, uh, this, this action to be taken. And Mr. Speaker, continue to protect us from hecklers in this house because we are discussing serious issues here about people who, rep who we represent and people are heckling Senator here. Senator Sifuna, you are doing so. Senator Gloria, Senator Gloria. Must you always make your noise in this house, honestly speaking? No, no, it's not in order, honestly. Um, I heard uh, the CS say that she's uh, intended to give, uh, I, we want them to table a document. Oh, the, we, the, I think this is online, actually, CR12, to show the owners of Gami, this was, uh, you know, Honorable Speaker, I came yesterday back to the country, but uh, I ordered for that and it is available. Those are the current directors of Ngami Properties Limited. Yeah, the supplementary question may be like... The supplement I think he wanted to know the timeline. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yes, under Section 79 of the Land Registration Act. I think I will need... The notice, uh, the process that we undertake is when we realize that irregularity has been committed either or a mistake by our registry, we need to issue a notice to the holders of that title and that notice is supposed to take, uh, with, you know, it's a notice of 60 days. So I will take up the process immediately so you can expect that uh, then the notice is to call the person, the holder of the title, to return the title, failing which then we proceed to cancel it. In most cases, when they know it was an untoward activity, normally they do not uh, present themselves because you present yourself and the title for cancellation or at least for interrogation. Once you don't come 
we proceed to cancel. So it should not take me more than uh, 60 days 